Hi, this is Marvin from the Pharonix product team, and I'm here to show you how to use our software updater service. Software updater is part of DeepBreeze Cloud and allows you to install and update over 75 popular products. To get started, under policies, create or edit the policy you would like software updater to be associated with. Let's create a new policy for this demo. Go to add policy, select the policy type, and name your policy. Then select Software Updater from the list and enable it from the drop down menu. In the Applications tab, you have a list of available applications. From here, you can select the software you wish to install or update on your managed workstations. For example, Google Chrome. Uh, the software you selected will be installed or updated on the machines the policy is associated with. If you created a new policy that doesn't have an associated maintenance period, you'll see this warning that a maintenance period needs to be created. To set up a maintenance period, under your policy, go to General Settings. In the Maintenance Period tab, enable Maintenance Period. Set up what time you'd like the updates to happen, and make sure that the Perform Software Updater Task checkbox is checked. Before hitting Save, let's take a look at the Advanced Options. Let's go back to the software updater. You'll see two tabs, software deployment and advanced options. If you want to learn more about our software deployment feature, check out our software deployment tutorial video. For now, let's take a look at the advanced options tab. Here, you have the option to only update the products that are already installed on your machines. You can also disable shortcuts or auto updates, log off users during updates, or uninstall older versions of Java Runtime. You also have the option to set up a cache server that will download all the software products and updates you want to one machine. All your computers will then connect to that cache server and grab what they need from the local network. This is a great way to save bandwidth instead of having every individual computer download everything from the internet. When you're all done setting your options, hit save, uh, and your software will be installed and updated during the next maintenance period and this will take us back to the main policy menu. From here, we can take a look at software updater reports. Under application status update, uh, you can view what software is installed on which computers, the current version, and whether it's outdated or not. And under activity logs, uh, it details any errors that might have occurred during the installation or update process. For additional information about other features available through DeepFreeze Cloud, check out our other videos.